Welcome back to the matchup, the series where we take two similar looking bikes to the untrained eye. But in fact, if we go deeper, we can tell the differences between the two and help you when purchasing your next bike. Exactly. And today we have two Canyon Spectrals. One, the full blow in 29er and the other, the mullet or the moulet, if you will, Jace. Now I do have to say that this is not a review. We actually have one of those and I'll link it down in the description below. Today, it's more of an overview. Exactly, and these bikes might not be the exact bikes that you're looking at, but what we'll cover off applies to many 29er versus mullet comparisons. So we have two Canyon Spectrals. Now Canyon places both of these bikes firmly in their trail category and they have very similar angles, but slightly different intended purposes. When it comes to the mullet, Canyon say the intended purpose is business in the front, party in the back. So with similar kinematics, travel and angles to the other 29 inch and 27 and a half inch spectrals in the range, they're quite similar. Canyon goes on to say that the mullet boosts agility when compared to the 29er range because of the shorter chainstays and the smaller rear wheel. Now they also say this is balanced with increased confidence because of that bigger 29er wheel up front. So what that means to me is that the big 29er wheel up front allows a little bit more traction, has that higher rotational mass and will roll faster, while at the back you're kind of able to wag the tail a little better. So suits someone who wants to play around and is happy to sacrifice the all out speed that you'll get from the 29er. Now moving over to the 29er, Canyon says this bike tops the charts for grip and stability as well as all out speed and efficiency. So to me, Sounds like Canyon's gearing this bike for someone who wants to go really fast and keep things relatively straight on the trail. So now I've covered off Canyon's intended use of these two bikes. Let's start simple. What's the same about them, Jace? Well, Tom, they both have a full carbon frame that can fit a 600 milliliter water bottle along with 160 millimeter forks and 150 millimeters of travel in the back, as well as a smattering of parts you'd expect on a modern day trail bike. Yeah, we're talking Shimano 1x12 drive chain, Shimano's XT four pop brakes, as well as Canyon's own adjustable travel dropper post. And you know, they've both got the Maxxis Burley rubber on there as well. And one more thing, they also both use a four bar suspension layout. So we've chatted similarities, let's chat differences. And the elephant in the room here, obviously your bike has a mixed wheel size. My bike has the same wheels. Tom, how have they gone and done it? Yeah, it's pretty cool, Jay. So Canyon have taken the front triangle from the 29er Spectral, paired that with the 27 and a half inch rear triangle from the 27 and a half Spectral and Mule. But in all seriousness, what that means is that they've got a bike platform that allows for a variety of uses and riders across the whole Spectral range. Totally, and one of those uses out on trail, you know, with the mullet, you're obviously dropping the bottom bracket, which provides the riders a lower center of gravity while they're riding. Now, the other obvious difference is the coil versus air shock. And Canyon say they spec their one and only mullet spectral with a slightly shreddier spec. It tips the scales on the 29er. The mullet coming in at 33.42, while the 29er is 31.53. Now, while we're talking numbers, let's go deep on geometry and see what numbers give these bikes the planted and poppy adjectives so often used to describe 29ers and mullets. Now, for argument's sake, let's pretend both these bikes are largest. The mullet, no surprise there, has a shorter rear end of 432 millimeters compared to the 29er at 437 millimeters. Now that difference should, in theory, make the bike a little easier to toss around in the corners, get sideways in the air, while the 29er should track better in a straight line at high speeds. Also, Tom, and I know the people out there want it, the mullet should be easier to manual. Oh yeah. Now I've only briefly mentioned the angles of these bikes, Jason. They're the same for head tube and seat tube on both of these bikes. So 64 degrees on the front for the head tube and 76 on the seat tube. Now these are both adjustable by a flip chip by half a degree and that flip chip will also drop or raise the bottom bracket by 8mm. So moving on to models, the mullet is simple. There's just one, the Canyon Collective Edition coming in at 4899 US. 
Well, on the other hand, Tom, the 29er has a variety of options, starting at $28.99 for the aluminum version and going all the way up to $7,500 US for the Baller Canyon 29 CFR, which is actually 300 grams lighter thanks to a different carbon layup. So plenty of options to meet any budget or riding style. If you're the type of rider who loves to manual, get sideways in the air, and throw a few jibs in the car park, then Canyon says they've designed the mullet for you. However, if you value all out speed, traction, and maybe you're even racing a couple of races a year, then Canyon has designed the 29er with you in mind. Beauty, thanks for that, Jace, and thank you for watching along at home. Let us know in the comments if you're more of a straight up the guts 29er rider, or whether you prefer a glass of warm moulet. So make sure you subscribe for more videos coming out soon. Cheers again for watching.